like it, alright? So, Bye, Pig. Right, Thanks seeing you again, man. I know, right? I came by to level up. I'm tired of being free. Yes, I need neutral, man. Yeah, I didn't drink enough. I'm staying the night. I didn't even drink at all. I'm actually pissed off that I haven't drunk anything today. Right, cool. I left my alcohol at the house while I was on my way over here, oh, and I was so oh, fucking pissed yes, that you know. But anyway, we back on the stream right now. Yeah, I think definitely. I think they doing. Oh, they doing. Oh, this is actually a match. Okay, DJT come in with the flying punch. All right, here we go. Then with a nice combo. Ugh, reset. What's Kush gonna do? And um, I noticed something about throw breaking in this game. It's really difficult. Ah. He baited him with the parry. That was kind of nice. When you know, Jax puts you in the corner, it's never your turn. Exactly. Look at this. Poor Sonya. She oh, can't get out. Oh, there, no. she oh, there we out. go. There we go. Okay. Let's put him back in the corner. See, can he make a comeback? Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Trying to stop him from waking up. Uh-oh. Nice. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh. oh. He right put himself in the corner but still oh, got the hit. Man, you know, the but it didn't man. matter. It really did. <laughs> Did you see the struggle when Kush got put in the corner there? Kush was like, trying his best to get out of the corner. Can I please press a button? And Denzel was like, no. And he was <laughs> laughing. He <laughs> laughed at Kush's misery, and that's what got him opened up. And now we got Kush trying to play the zone again, trying to find a way to get in. See, I think Kush's problem is, uh, from my notice, that he likes to counter poke people a lot, but he don't understand that when you try to play someone, they actually try to counter poke them back. And he just got killed for doing that, that um, raw dive kick. And DJT was really waiting on it. Here you go. This is a replay from last time. Uh -oh. oh, she armored out. Nice. That she wanted good. no part of that. I know. Mama Sonia. Here we go. Nice block. Ooh, Ooh the down one down. anti air. I love that about this game. Exactly. The MK9 setup. I call that shit the MK9 setup. I was too free in MK9 to notice. Oh man. <laughs> oh, that was that move got a lot of people away with a lot of tournament winners. You but know, uh, I played Jade, which means I didn't get to play the game much. Oh wow! Because you know <laughs> the struggle. It could take away with the um, could take away with the uh, with the first round. Oh, we got a final round going on right now. DJT coming in with the pressure, hit him with the grab. So they can push him a bit closer to the wall. Hit him with a delay, delay projectile. Now he's pushing him with some more with the four two twos. Hit him with another projectile. Man, Kush is just, Kush actually got some really good blocks right now. What you don't want to do is block that uh, beam because yeah. it's so plus and Jackson just get right in. Exactly. Do the shoulder lean. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice, nice block. Kush, thank God. That was some nice block you just did there. Push him to the wall. There you go. Try to space that up. Try to face that wall very right there. Good. Ah, uh, he got him. Got him with the combo. He can find a way to get out. Good. Throw the bridge over trying to get some, um, some plus frames real quick. Oh man, hit him, with the, hit him with the anti air. Oh wait, so now since DJT has a little bit of bar meter, now he has two bars of meter. Is he gonna waste it on a breaker or is he gonna try to use it for something else? Mm. Oh, oh, nice. Uh oh, and Chris, uh, DJT finally gets in. I think we're gonna have a DJT's oh, blocking is so really good, good, dude. That shit is awesome. His footsies are ridiculous. That was kind of nice. That was that was a nice stop. 2K a mech oh, in the chat room. Yeah, no, I will not be using so the Jade variation. Um, I actually like Katana. I like Royal Storm Katana. I find her to be very fun. I just picked her up yesterday um, while I was talking to Katana Prime, and I was enjoying myself. That's that's actually kind of nice because uh, the only the only um like Jade players I've seen is a guy named Zat. This is a guy named Zach In this Marcus. game? Well, yeah, no, nah, Mortal Kombat. Oh, uh, MK9. Nah. Okay. So he, was, he was a really good J player. And, and there, was, there was a chick, too, that was really Bird good. songs. Yeah, bird songs. I was just awesome. about to say, in MK9, I knew well, Mr. Molina and bird songs were the best Jades I knew. Well, check this out. Kush just went to his main character. Kodokan. Kodokan is Kush's character, so let's see how good he's doing this matchup now. You know what I'm saying? He hit him. Oh, nice. Hit him with a good jump in. Oh, he drops the combo. Like, Kush, what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> and he's waking up with the. Oh, nice. That I did not realize how gay that EX. Oh, Sword throw is with Kotokan. Dude, really I ridiculous. found out at Combo Breaker when I was fighting Alucard. Like, he threw it from full screen. I blocked it and he ran at me. I'm like, is he crazy? He's like, no, dog. That's like plus 20 something. Exactly. Like, oh my God. Like, oh, I can't Kush do anything it. about this. Now, Kush is sitting now. DJT is pretty much open Kush up to the point that he's trying to poke him out of stuff. But now, Kush you know, is pretty oh, much at the it's, Sometimes it's better to just get hit by the sword. Yeah. To avoid the frame advantage. Oh, he's dead now. DJT is pretty much just baking the hell out of Kush to the point that he's getting hit by everything. I like people like that. See, I like baiters. If you like to bait people out on their moves, make the person do something stupid so you can kill them for it. Don't sit around there and try to wait for that person to just keep doing stuff on you. You know what I'm saying? Kush killing with a good comeback. 
If I would say Kush would try to do something and look, wake up attack, Kush's problem is he doesn't like the he like to go in too much, which is ain't a problem. But the point is he don't know he don't have any defense. His defense kind of dwells it down a little bit because he got hit with that wake up attack a lot. Yes, if he sir. Just, if he just stands down block. He'll be okay. Yeah, Kush needs to calm down right now. He's See running I mean? into these projectiles right now for no reason. No Thank reason. You, that's at what all. I mean. That's what I'm saying. Like he has no his game on his his game on his uh. I don't. And, yeah, he panicked right there. He gave away that game. He pretty much did. Yes, Curtis, Evo, we're going to have a great time, you know. You want to side? I'll talk to you in a minute, Curtis. Let me commentate this match. All right. And now I think Rio has match point. Kush needs to win two more to catch up. You know, for the way it looks right now, I don't think he's going to be able to. But, you know, Kush put him in a little pressure. Nice overhead throw. I don't know why he's not throwing. Why isn't he running after that? He's yeah, throwing sunlight. Like, Denzel's just going to sit in there and chill. Exactly. Denzel's too smart for that. He's not going to sit there and chill it right. and get hit by the light. All right. See, see, I think the problem is, like, when each other get into each other's face, they don't know what attack to throw out better. But instead of just waiting for that person to throw out the attack, they attack each other at the same time, which is actually, like, a bad flaw in okay. Oh, no. That's uh, – Denzel didn't get punished. Oh, nice. Oh, All Chris, right. Kush takes, takes the round there. Around. Well, now but, look at the bar to meet it. We have a break. We have two bars over here, and we have a bar at bar 90%. Yeah, so it's um, still good. I like, like we said, I'd like to see more um, charge-ins from Kush after he throws the sword on block. Yeah, exactly. Me too. It's free frame advantage. He's not doing that. He just, it's like he's just doing it for zoning, but he's using that tool the wrong way as a zoning tool, and it's not causing it. It's causing the match. Mm -hmm. And into the corner we go. This is where Jax excels. Because it feels it like it is never your turn. I did not realize Denzel, how you know what the problem is here? Denzel's too polite with Jax. Like, he can just throw out 1-1-1-1 one, 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 one and, and just be safe or plus. But he chooses to Jax's be smart. Jax's buttons are so good. Exactly. He's just so patient and respectful. It's just in his nature to do that. But you can harass people with Jax's buttons all day in the corner. Exactly. That's one thing I like about some of these characters in this game, that they, their strongest point is in the corner. Right. You know, and their whole objective is to put you in that corner. Mm -hmm. But when they put you in that corner, they got to keep you in there. So if they, well, as soon as you get out, you can kill them for it. See, they're counter poking like crazy now. Like, Kush's main thing is, Kush likes to go for counter -poke. I'm not trying to talk about the man's play style, but I've played him before, and Kush, like, does a lot of counter poking in his gameplay. That's what he fishes for a lot. Like, in his matchup, that's what he's going for. And DJT is just, like, straight on it. And that just, is like, so his satisfying when you just got to grab someone and mash the button. Oh yeah, cause like back in the day, you know, back in the day, you had to, uh, you had to like, it automatically did it. Yeah, it and the other variations. Oh, it does. Kush takes some pumped up, and Kush takes some match. Surprisingly, now we have a two-one setup. Yeah, we're going right now. I think yeah. he's probably listening to what I'm saying. That's probably what's going on here. Kush is still alive, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, DJT hit him with the uh, overhead dash punch. That was kind of weird. They actually gave Jax that in this game. I was the only one that felt kind of obligated. Like, why would they give him that? But, you know, it's working. It's really good for him. He needed it. I like how DJT expected the EX sword on wake up there and blocked it. Yeah. Oh, no. But I want to see more harassment in this corner right now. Yes, exactly. just be disrespectful. So <laughs> like that. So at that point, unsafe. Uh, is, That's is it unsafe. Dash punch is unsafe. I thought so. Okay. And MK9 it was safe. That's why. The only way you could punish that move, you had to duck it high. But since they made it a mix up now by giving him the overhead, right. it makes him more better. He's, uh, Kush hits him with the good overhead, start, just try to start the round off with. But Kush is ducking too much. I don't think there's a reason for you to be ducking Jax in the first place. Do Jax have any low starters? I'm pretty sure he does. I don't know. Well, yeah, I don't know for sure either myself. But Someone correct us if we're wrong. Yeah. He has a lot of overheads, so. though. But right now, uh, if MIT wins this round, he pretty much advances the next round, which he does. I think we can yeah. have a brutality. Oh, uh, no brutality. Oh, hit him with the old school down too. 